Hey everybody, thought I would give you a quick update on my reading, because I read a little bit on everything. Like I read some of Scythe, I was like on, I can't remember where I was on, like chapter 7 I believe. No, oh, I was on, let me see. Yeah. yeah, I had to be about right here I was on. I believe I was on page, which is Killcraft Chapter 7. I think I started reading today, so I read like two chapters in this. I'm still really enjoying it a lot, like my first time I read it. So, I think I'm just taking my time, so that's why, like, the first time I flew for I threw, flew through it. Yeah, that's how you say it. Flew through it. And this time I'm taking my time and plus I'm flat, um, flagging them or whatever you want to call it. Annotating. I wrote in some of it. So, yeah, I'm really enjoying and taking my time with it. I'm, I think tomorrow I'm going to try, if I get a chance after I do some cleaning around the house, I'm going to try to like get a big chunk of this done I maybe get to like two 240 250 somewhere around there tomorrow which would still be a lot or even if I could get like to like to close to 200 I'd be a happy camper so we shall see and let's see for um my reread of throne of glass I only read a couple of if I can talk. I only read a couple of chapters today. Um, I think I got up to... To... Yeah. I read, like... Oh, yeah, because that was today. I think I started on... Let's see. I think I was like right, like I read just that little bit of it today, which ain't very much, but I read some, and I'm losing my bookmark. Yeah, so I read like two, I read one full chapter. Sorry, I have to pick it up. <laughs> I'm using my, my, um, Dorian card that I got from Enchanted Fandom when I got the Princeton box. As you guys probably know, and you guys are probably getting tired of me saying, he's my favorite character. So, of course, I'm going to use him as my bookmark, because my baby. And for people that are wondering, like for my special editions, I don't actually write, write on the pages. I use these. So if you're wondering, like if I write on these, no. Not my special editions. Not my pretty, pretty ones. I do not write on those. Those get this. I just write a little something on it. Like, I won't show you guys too, um, too much. But I don't know if this would be a spoiler for people that read it. I put down, let me find one of the ones I wrote on because I already, I already, um, Oh my gosh, I can't even, like, think of what I was going to say. But I already, like, uh, wrote a couple of things on it, and I am not finding them. And I know I just saw a couple of them a minute ago where I wrote on um, some other things, and I'm not finding it now. So, but I do, that's what I do. I don't write on them. Or if it's just something, if I just want to say, why? You know, like if somebody does something stupid, I just want to say, why? Or why are you being stupid? Or something like that, you know, small. Something that I can like real small, then I'll just write on the little flag that that way. And I won't use a big one. Aha, here it is. I put like, favorite scene. Selena, Selena's reaction to library. I put... This is like a spoiler, but it really isn't. I don't consider this like a big spoiler. So I hope people don't mind. But like where I put down, I put down like, Love Selena writing note for permission to get books from library. 
and then so on and so on. So, but you can see what I'm talking about right there. So yeah. And I'm also reading Muse of Nightmare. This one I probably won't get done with until next month. I'm taking my time with it, but after, um, once Friday gets here, after Friday ends, Tom Topple starts <clears throat> at, uh, you could say, like 12, so Saturday morning, or, yeah, you could say 12 a.m., and I know I could really, like, consider, like, I could read this because it's over 500 pages, but I want to, like, start from like a beginning of the book because I feel like you're cheating if you don't I I don't I mean other people could do it I don't you know if that's what they want but to me it feels like it's cheating unless it unless it's unless they don't specific specify that um that you have to start the book then I do not like doing that but yeah I got a little bit of this done I'm on part two now which is chapter 16 and that's on page, um, let's see, I believe it's like, I don't think I'm like on 131 or something like that. Like it's so hard because some of these pages, like, they feel like they're sticking together, but I don't know if they actually are or if it's just the way the pages look. <laughs> I'm trying to figure this out because my fingers don't want to work, but I'm thinking like nothing's coming, so I'm assuming that that's just the next page, that these are just thicker. So, let me see, 129. That one ended on 129. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat is trying to go out. 134, Yeah, so... I think I'm on like 133 and that's chapter 16 like I was saying in part two and I'm really loving it still but like I said I'm gonna take my time so probably won't finish it until some yeah, sometime next month if I can get it out unless I like get in a day where I just you know really get into the mood of reading it but I'm trying to read at least like a couple like two to three chapters a day but not every day. So, but today I was really enjoying. I got pretty far today. I don't know exactly like where I was it's the last time I updated you guys. But I know I at least read like, let's see, I think I was like on 79 or something like that. Yeah, I think I started about with the rope channel, um, chapter 11. I either started on 10 or 11 today, so I can't remember exactly. But I was, I at least read from 89 to page, what did I just say, 133 is where I'm at, like I was saying. So, I did read, like, if I can get that. So, I read about that much. But for people that are wondering about my tabs, like, I'm always changing my mind. I don't, um... Like, not every book, the color means the same. Just whatever I'm in the mood for at the time, that's what it is. Like, for this one, my colors, just in case you're wondering, the pink is, um, let me see if I have one that has those colors here. Because there's some that are different colors. Yeah, here we go. So, for Muse of Nightmare, the pink I'm using as romance, just in case you're wondering. Orange, I'm using as the magic system. Uh, blue, which is down here, I'm using important character stuff. So anything I feel that it's important that I need to remember about the character. Let's see, where was I? Um, green. Well, yellow is, let me go to yellow. Yellow is sad or upsetting or it makes me angry, you know, things like that. Green is favorite quotes or passages. Uh, let's see. I think I did blue. Yeah, I told you what blue was. Purple is th just anything else I want to remember. Like maybe a certain town or something like that. Um, 
the rose pink or rose red, whatever this color is, is for the awe moments. So it's a little different than romance because romance can also be like sex to me. So, so basically the pink is for romance and sex scenes. The, the, ro the rose one, however you say it, that one is, um, all moments like, like I was saying, like, you know, like giving them a flower, even though that's romance kind of too, but for me, romance is more like, you know, like going on a picnic or saying something really sweet to the person. All moments are like, you know, like, like a certain, even though it could be romance, I guess, too, the way they talk, like certain nice things that they stay and stuff. To me, that's more like an awe moment because it's coming from the heart. And then, um, of course, there's no major deaths in this one yet, at least. Spoiler. I guess you could say it's a spoiler, but yeah, it's not because I'm not that far in. But right now, there ain't no, like, no major deaths in this one. But that's what that one's for. If there's any major deaths in this scene, like in the book. So, that's what that's for. But, I think, um, I don't remember if it's the same for the Throne of Glass. I don't know if I kept the same or not. I know most of them I do keep, though. So, for Throne of Glass, the pink is still romance. The orange is funny or favorite part, so it's a little different than the green one. Because the green one in Muse of Nightmare is, like I was saying, is its favorite passages and quotes. But this one, it's, like I was saying, romance. Funny and favorite parts. Um, yellow, angry or upsetting. Green, quote, favorite quotes. Anything that's important or interesting, that I find interesting, is blue. Let's see. Let's go here next, because that's what I got. No, I got here, here next. It's still death scenes. Um, the red rose, or whatever you want to call it, is favorite. Or anything to do with Dorian is rose. It could be my favorite Dorian parts, things that make me mad that Dorian does. Anything Dorian is this color. And purple in this one is magic system. Anything to do with the magic system is purple. So, and then for Scythe, I will, I think I, I of course have it a little different because I have like one that I use for things to do with the Scythe, like Scythe whirls and all that kind of stuff. I use something. So for this one, it's a little different for um, pink for this one. I'm using funny, like the things I think are funny in the book. Orange is upsetting or angry parts. Yellow is the, anything to do with the um, scythe, the scythe um, system, like their rurals and stuff, you know. Like, some people have different ways that they, like, glean, glen, glean, how we say it, the person that they're going to do. So, anything like that is yellow. Green is favorite quotes, of course. Basically, all green, I mean, every book I do, if you see green, it's my favorite quote or passage. Purple is, or blue is character information, sorry. You know, so anything, like I said, that's important, that I think is important to the, about the character, like, it could even be like, if I think it's important, like certain food that they eat, who knows? Maybe for some reason I think something that they eat might be played back later on or something, who knows? I'm just using that as an example. That ain't really what it is. And let's see. Purple is just other things I find important. Rose red is, for this one, is my favorite parts. And red is surprising parts. So it's a little different for this one. So surprising parts will say, like, if someone kills somebody that I'm not expecting that person, you know, like to be a killer. Or is someone, it could still be for death. So if someone dies, that would be, if you're not expecting that person to die, of course, that would be surprising. But surprising could also be 
a bad person, like, doing something out of character, you know what I mean? Like, like the bad person actually being nice for some reason. So, yeah. But usually, most of them stay basically the same. So, that's why I wanted to go over a little bit, because I know my friend Chris that started, um, that subscribed to my channel... He was asking me, like, what the red color means in my thing. So, I just figured I'd go over a little bit. But I'm still, like, learning. So, I don't really like to talk about it too much. Because I'm still, like I said, I'm still, like, changing my system a little bit. So, it might change again. And I know, like, some people, like, when they flag, they just use just certain colors. For, you know. And some people will just use, like... A certain color for review like if they want to remember anything that they want to talk about like when they're reviewing the book sometimes what I'll do if there's something that I want to remember like how this is this is sticking out because of some of the worlds so if there's certain worlds that I want to that I find interesting and I want to talk about in my review then I can flip I could go up here and find it easier like, this one is just, this I don't consider a spoiler because it's right on the first page. So it says, we must by law keep a record of innocence we kill. And it says, as I see it, they're all innocent, even the guilty. Everyone is guilty of something and everyone still harbors a memory of childhood innocence, no matter how many layers of life wrapped around it. Humanity is innocent. Humanity is guilty. And both states are undeniably, tr undeniably true. And then it says, we must, we must by law keep a record. So this is one of their worlds. It begin, it begins on one, on day one of the imprint, imprintership. But we do not officially call it killing. It's not socially or morally correct to call it such. It is is and has always been gleaning named for the way the poor would trail behind farmers in ancient times during the stray socks stalks of grain left behind it was the earliest form of charity a scythe work is the same every child is told from day one he or she is old enough to understand that the scythes provide a critical society service for societies Ours is the closest thing to a sacred mission the modern world knows. Perhaps this is why we must, by law, keep a record, a public journal testifying to those who will not die and those who are yet to be born, as to why we human beings do the things we do. We are instructed to write down not just our deeds, but our feelings, because it must be known that we do have feelings. Remorse, regret, sorrow... Too great to bear, because if we don't feel the those things, what monsters would we be? So, yellow is like their law, like what they have to follow, which, I, like I said, is we must, by law, keep a record of the innocents we kill. And so I put the yellow there, because that is one of the scythe systems, or worlds, whatever you want to say. And then, of course, where I put down... I did the same, I don't know why, but for some reason I did the yellow twice. Didn't really have to, but I did. Because basically it's the same thing as what it says here. That they keep a record of innocence we kill. And then I put yellow again because it does say right there, by law, we keep a record. And then I found I found that it was, that, that I put purple in this one spot. Because where, and like I told you, purple is other things that, I feel unimportant, so I feel that that's important. It's not socially or morally correct to call it such. So, gleaning, like I said, it, it was saying gleaning, name for the way the poor will trail behind farmers in ancient times. So, I thought that was interesting how they were talking about ancient times and things like that. So, I put purple there because that interests me. Let me see if I can find something else that isn't spoily. If I can say that word. Okay, for like green. 
I told you that's like my favorite passage or quotes. So, so this is, I like this when it says right here, it says, the main girl Citra is thinking this. It says, no surprise that people bent over backwards to please Scythes in every possible way. And then she says, hope in the shadow of fear is the world's most powerful motivator. And I think that's very true. I like that. So I put a green there. Let me see what else. And I like like how um, like the scythe is there. It ain't really a spoiler because it happens right away. But the the main scythe is there, and he's um, asking her something. And let me see. I'll find it. And then Citra says something like. Do you look your true age or are you at the far end of time by choice? Citra asked. And then her mother had nearly dropped the casserole she, she had taken out of a, uh, her oven. What a question to ask. And then I like I put a, perp, a, a blue here. It says, I like direct questions. Something that I like about, that I find interesting about the scythe. So that's why I put the green, I mean the blue. Because it's about the scythe and it's something that I find appealing or something I just think should should be, um, you know, tab blue. She, and he puts down, they show an innocent of spirit, so I will give an honest answer. I must, I admit to having turned the corner four times. My natural age is somewhere near 180. Although I forget the exact number of late, I've chosen this vulnerable, or how do you say that word, appearance, because I find that those I glean take more comfort from it. Then he laughed. They think me wise. Is that why your hair been blunted to glean one of us? Cy Faraday offered an unreadable smile. I'm here for dinner. So I put a green for I'm here for dinner because I like that. thought that, you know. I just really like that. And I put the blue because he was telling like that like he likes her honest spirit and he was talking about his actual age and why he keeps it that age. So yeah. Well that's just some examples. And then there's like And like, like this I thought was interesting. Rowan is the other character in the book. And he's like, rumor was that they, that they were working on ways to reset right down into the teens. Which Rowan found ridiculous. Why would anyone in their right minds want to be a teenager more than once? So I put the yellow there because there's rumors going on that they're, like I said, that the scythe might be, you know. Wanting to go as early as teens. But usually, the part I didn't read was right here where it says, Some people reset to 21, which was the youngest genetic therapy could take a person. And then, of course, there's rumors, like I was just saying, that, that they want to take it down to the teens. And no matter, I agree with Rowan. No matter how much I... I liked being when my teen years. I don't think I would ever want to go back to my teen years. But yeah. And then this one guy. I don't think it's really spoiler because it happens almost right away too. This one guy keeps um, trying to like splat, kill himself and stuff. And it put and he put down. Did I crack it? Did they have to replace the marble? And then and then Rowan put down. I don't know. Tagger, I think that's how you say the guy's name. Jeez, enough already. I put stupid. Because <laughs> why would you want to try to keep killing yourself like that? It's beyond me. So I put stupid. At the beginning, I put a, I didn't want to use a tab. So I put, I just underlined Rowan's name. And I put down one of my book boyfriends. Because he's one of my favorite, like, characters in a book. There's a few characters that I I might do like a video of like some of my favorite characters 
and go over that with you guys because I had some like I have like for um and then burn ashes I like um one of my favorite people from there probably is my favorite person in there is the main guy Ellis I love him He's in like Ember and Ash. It's that series with Ember and Ashes. I always forget the second book. And I haven't read the third book yet. But yeah, anyways. One of my earliest, like when one of my real book boyfriends, another one is, I really, 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 really love Liam from The Darkest Minds. He's like, Next to probably Harry Potter. Because I always had like a crush. Even though I'm a lot older than him. Even when I back in. When I first read the series. Like I always had a crush on Harry. Even when I was old. Because I'm a, I was like 20. In my late 20s. Early 30s. When I read Harry Potter for the first time. So yeah. But yeah. <laughs> but I just thought I would like. I know I went off a little bit, but I know, like I said, my friend Chris that subscribed to my channel, he was curious, so I figured I would just give you some ideas on what it is, but I'm not like, like, this ain't like where I'm sticking with, besides like the green, I always keep the green the same, and, and the pink basically stays the same, besides, I think I said I changed it for this one a little bit, was this one I said I think I changed it for? Yeah, because I put surprise in parts for that for the red in this one. So, but for the most part, red stays the same. Pink stays the same usually. But this one, it's different. Like I was saying, that's what I was talking about. I got messed up. I don't know why I said red. Pink is the one that usually stays the same. It's usually romance, but I wanted to do a little something different with Scythe. So that's why instead of romance, I put it for, um, what did I say? funny parts but yeah I'm gonna let you guys go though cuz it is almost 1130 here and I am getting tired I still got to go make my bed cuz I washed my sheets today so bed needs to be made before I can go to sleep I'm sorry this got to be so long I wasn't expecting it to be so long but I just figured since I was talking about these three books that I would talk about a little bit about the tab in and like writing so, yeah, but that's some of the reason why, like, some books I will write in and other books I won't. Because, like I said, this, this ain't no special edition or nothing. So, even though there's some special editions, I probably would still write in. But, yeah. But for the most part, I don't write in, in stuff like that. Like I said, I use these. But I don't mind, like I said, writing in this because, you know, it's paperback for one. It's not a special edition. So. But that is it. I think that's it for tonight. I just, like I said, just wanted to give you an update on my reading. And then I figured I would talk a little bit about my annotating and, you know, tabbing system a little bit. But, yeah. I'm going to let you guys go. Remember, like I always say, just if you ever need anybody to talk to, I'm here. Just comment down below and let me know, and I will start talking to you. I always try to get back to everybody as soon as I possibly can. If I don't comment, I at least try to, you know, do a thumbs up or a like on on the, what you commented on. But, yeah, like I was saying, though, for if you ever need me, like I said, I'm here. And I'm sure, like I always say, that there's other YouTubers out there that you can reach out to if you never, if you ever need them. And remember, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, if you like what you see, think about subscribing. And if you do subscribe, remember to hit the bell icon so you'll know whenever a new video of mine is uploaded. And I guess that is it for tonight. Lori's out of here. Mwah!